Hi, I'm David Compton. A trucker who needs a kidney takes a unique approach to trying to find a donor. And in Pennsylvania, going to church takes on a new meeting as a big rig plows into a chapel for the fifth time. Hi, I'm Jessica Rose. The White House announces plans for cleaner truck emissions, and a big spill adds some color to a Pennsylvania highway. These are the stories we're covering, along with our Rig of the Week, on this edition of the Trucker News Channel. A New Hampshire truck driver suffering from kidney disease has placed a sign on a semi-truck hoping to bring him the donor that he desperately needs. 54-year-old truck driver Mark Boomhauer has been on the waiting donor list for years, and it could be several more years before Boomhauer reaches the top of that list. However, he's running out of time. Boomhauer's kidney function is now down to just 12%. As an alternative to the donor list, recipients can receive kidneys from living donors. Boomhauer's wife Tammy isn't able to donate, and his children are not good candidates either because of the possibility of inherited kidney disease from their father. So the family's created a mini billboard on the back of Dad's rig, hoping to find that special donor who might be driving right behind him. If you think you might be that special person that can help out this family, you can contact them at markneedsakidney at comcast.net. The EPA is updating emissions regulations for heavy trucks for the first time in 20 years, the Trump administration announced in a new plan called the Cleaner Truck Initiative. The plan will focus on rewriting current rules on nitrogen oxide, or NOx, emissions from semi-trucks. Details about the new plan, however, are still in the making, and EPA officials say that it will be 2020 before any definitive emission rules are written. The initiative is a bit of a surprise, as President Trump has consistently been against over-regulation and significantly lessened previous rules affecting the environment. Pundits cite the Democratic Party's takeover of the House of Representatives as a possible motive for the sudden plan for stricter truck emissions. We'll be right back after these messages. We all know churches open their doors to visitors. However, this church in Pennsylvania has had its share of unwanted visitors. That's because over the past six years, five, yes, five semis have crashed into this house of worship. The church sits at the bottom of the hill on State Route 160 in Wellersburg, Pennsylvania. The most recent crash occurred when a truck driver hauling sand lost his brakes at the top of the hill and didn't have any air pressure. The runaway truck slammed into the 168-year-old Mount Harmony United Methodist Church building. The impact knocked the building off its foundation, and the trailer was sitting sideways at the bottom of the basement. Previously, crashes have taken out the trees protecting the property, and then the front walkway before they actually started crashing into the church building itself. Police believe that truckers often take State Route 160 in order to avoid the increasing tolls on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and in order to steer clear of the Maryland State Police Way Station on I-68. Traffic jams usually have people seeing red, but it's not often seeing red causes the jam itself. Drivers on eastbound I-70 in West Alexander, Pennsylvania, were held up for hours after a semi-truck carrying red food dye used in making candy jackknifed into a ditch, causing its trailer to detach and spill onto the highway. The dye ended up turning the highway bright red and brought traffic to a halt as cleanup crews dealt with the mess. The driver was taken to the hospital and police are investigating the cause of the crash. This week's Rig of the Week goes to Playmobil. Yes, that's right, it's a toy. Normally we profile some cool real rig here every week, but since the holidays are upon us and many of you have kids, we've decided to do one of those unboxing toy videos that have become so popular and do it with a rig for the kids. The first thing you're gonna like about this toy rig is no assembly required. It's ready to roll right out of the box. The roof of the tractor comes off for easy access 
However, in the sleeper compartment, the door is difficult to open, but with a bit of pressure, it does open up. The tractor detaches from the trailer very easily, and the trailer has a separate toolbox with a fire extinguisher, other tools, and a pair of chocks inside. The trailer can also be switched with other Playmobil trucks. The driver figurine is a trucker that has faded jeans, a vest, a hat, and a coffee cup, and I don't know where they came up with that look, but however, you only get one trucker, so if you're a team of daddy and mommy drivers, you're out of luck there. All in all, it's a well-built toy rig that will have your kids enjoying it for some time. You can buy it on Amazon for the holidays at the link below. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to click the little red subscribe button below. You can also go to thetrucker.com to read the latest breaking news stories. That's it for this edition. On behalf of David Compton, myself, Jessica Rose, and all of us here at the Trucker News Channel, thanks for watching.